Afternoon everybody, it's Pastor Jim, or it might be evening by the time you see this video, but I wanted to uh, come out to Murray's Mill today, which is one of my favorite places to be. Sorry, I had my headphones in, I was trying to listen. Uh, but one of my favorite places to be is this location in Murray's Mill. If you've never been here, it's a short ride from Lincolnton. It's over in Catawba County, just off Buffalo Shoals Road. You just keep getting it down Buffalo Shoals Road and you'll come to Murray's Mill. Uh, it is a gorgeous location. The old grist mill sits here with the waterfall. It is quiet. It is peaceful. The old mill store is still down there. Look at this beautiful location. I'll be quiet for a minute so you can take it in. But anyway, I wanted to uh, read for you today as our scripture lesson from the book of Romans and our lectionary reading for today. It's uh, Paul's epistle to the Romans. This is Romans chapter 8, 6 through 11. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you who are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also, through his spirit that dwells in you. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. I hope on this Thursday that you find comfort in these words from Romans. I know that we are all in the spirit. Sometimes our spirit's a little low because we're not able to meet, and I keep harping on that, but I feel that that is our biggest concern for many of you right now. But again, as I've said just recently, the church is you, it's, it's us, it's the people, it's not that building over on Highway 27. The church is wherever we can get together, wherever two or three are gathered in his name, there God is also. So I'll leave you with that today. Tomorrow I will be reading from the book of John, chapter 11, verses 1 through 45. It's the story of Lazarus. And this will also be our sermon theme come Sunday morning. I will have the sermon there for you, hopefully by 11 o'clock Sunday morning. I may even set it up on Facebook that you can do a watch party or that I'll do a watch party. And I'll invite all of you together to watch the sermon at the same time. And that way, even though you're not physically together, you're spiritually and emotionally all hooked in at the same time. So... I wish you well. I hope that things are going well for you and that you are safe and that your families, your extended families, are not suffering through this virus and this pandemic. I pray for the workers who are on the front lines, our nurses, our doctors, our healthcare workers, our first responders in case they have to go out in this. Just keep in touch with God. Keep in touch with each other. Watch out for each other. Again, if you need anything, don't hesitate to call me on my cell or at the parsonage. I'm there for you, in spirit and in truth. God bless you, and have a great Thursday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Blessings.